A new at 10, cities and counties could pay thousands of dollars every day if they move or rename a historic monument or building. It's because of a bill to amend the Alabama Memorial Preservation Act. Way 31's Grace Campbell reports. If the bill passes, counties and cities who have moved a historical monument will be charged $5,000 every day until it's returned to its original location. The founder of Reclaiming Our Time tells me this bill is really a fear tactic to make sure all Confederate monuments, like the one here in Albertville, stick around and stay in their place for everyone to see. It's a very strategic move because they know what they're doing. They, they know that money talks, as they say. And, um, you know, no matter what it is, it's going to make um, our leaders, elected officials think about what they're doing. Unique Dunstan says she wasn't surprised when she learned about the bill to amend the Alabama Memorial Preservation Act. If passed, the bill would raise the fine for moving, renaming or altering any historic monuments or memorial buildings that had been there for at least 40 years. It's being raised from a one time fine of $25,000 to a fine of $5,000 every day until the historic building or monument is back to the way it originally was. Dunson says the bill glorifies the people and the time period that enslaved African Americans and further promotes racism in the state. I just pray and hope that this bill does not go through, but if it does go through, through, I can tell you that in the meantime, we will continue to educate the public on what these symbols um, really symbolize, and that is white supremacy. She says Reclaiming Our Time and other organizations will continue working to remove and rename the buildings and historic monuments that continue to create such a separation. We will not stop until all of these are down. And if it takes our children, our children's children working on this, and that's what we'll keep doing because it's that important. I reached out to the attorney general's office for a statement on the bill, but his office tells me they have no comment. Reporting in Albertville, Grace Campbell, Way 31 News. That bill would also have the state erect a life-size statue of civil rights leader John Lewis by the Edmund Pettus Bridge. We reached out to the Sons of the Confederate Veterans and United Daughters of the Confederacy for a statement on the bill, but have not heard back.